Hey, it's Quick Fit Tips. Now I'm going to talk to you about the stability ball and some of the fantastic uses for it and why it has certain advantages that other equipment doesn't have. Today's Quick Fit Tip is on stability balls and more specifically stability balls and abdominal training. Now first of all, the stability ball is a fantastic piece of equipment. Not only is it lots of fun, but it also gives you a lot of variations into some of your regular exercises, especially abdominals. Now one of the key parts of the Swiss ball is that of course it's round. And with that, when you're doing a crunch, you can actually stretch your back further over than you would if you were on the floor. When you're on the floor doing a crunch, you're only going from the floor upwards. So you're actually missing what's called the pre-stretch of the muscle. Kind of like when you're doing biceps curls and you stretch your arms all the way down. Well, that would be your pre-stretch in your abdominals when you're stretching all the way over the ball. Then, of course, when you start to come up, just like with the biceps, you start to activate the muscles. And you activate them deeper because you're working harder. Now, to be honest with you, if you're doing it correctly, you won't be able to do a whole lot of repetitions. So if you find yourself doing 20, 30 repetitions on the stability ball for crunches, you're probably coming up too far because you really just want to get that pre-stretch and come up to where you're about parallel to the floor. Going up higher than that is going to bring a little bit of those hip flexors into play and really not give you much more advantage for your abdominal training. Now, it may look harder, it may be more fun, I don't know, but I don't do stuff that's not going to be effective. And I don't know about you, I don't have time to waste. So when doing the stability ball, especially for abdominals, get that pre-stretch as deep as you can. You want to feel those muscles below the belly button, not underneath the belly button, but below, right where those abdominals go in towards your hips. You want to feel that stretch when you're over the ball. Then you want to press that in, then press your belly button, and then begin to lift your body towards the ceiling like you would for a regular crunch. And the key here too is to keep those abdominal muscles tight as you lower yourself back over the ball. So your abdominals are tight the entire time. So of course, if you're really just isolating and using the abdominals by themselves, they're a small muscle, you're not gonna be able to do a whole lot. And you definitely don't really need to add extra weight unless you're super duper duper strong. But you know what? I think most of us just wanna have a nice firm middle and that's what you're gonna get with the stability ball crunches. Give it a try and let me know in the comments below what you think and what your favorite abdominal exercise is too.